In some breaking news, the Martian rock that was recently sold at the New York Sotheby's auction house for over $4 million may have been illegally taken out of Niger. On November the 16th, 2023, somebody found a meteorite in the Sahara Desert. Now, little to them, they did not realize what value this meteorite had, at least not until it reached an auction house in New York. See, last month, Sotheby's, the well-renowned auctioneering house, sold this particular Martian specimen for $4.3 million. And the question that the Niger government is asking is, who gave you the right to sell it? The government claims that the right procedures were not put in place and that the wealth that was obviously found and, I guess, accumulated in this Martian meteorite needs to come back to Niger. Now, Sotheby's is claiming that they followed the strict procedures to ensure that there was an audit trail and that the source of this meteorite was done legally, but the Niger government claims otherwise. The history surrounding this Martian meteorite and how it ended up in New York is somewhat blurred or a gray area. It was first found, as I mentioned, in 2023, but apparently, and I quote, it was sold by the local community to an international dealer and then was transferred to a private gallery in the Italian city of Arezzo. But yeah, no clue how it actually left Niger. International law says that you cannot simply take something that is important to the heritage of a country, be it a cultural item, a physical item, a natural item, an extraterrestrial item. So even if this was sold by a community to an international dealer, was international law broken because it didn't go through the appropriate authorized channels? I'll keep you updated as this story pans out, but yeah, let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.